y'all. Today I'm going to make some peanut butter blossoms. I used the Betty Crocker recipe, their newest one. And it's a very good recipe. The first thing I need is a half cup of butter and a half cup of peanut butter. Have you ever had a butter and peanut butter sandwich? Now that is a good sandwich. Instead of peanut butter and jelly, just put a little butter or margarine on there. Oh, it's so, so creamy. So good. <laughs> All right, so that's a half cup of peanut butter, half cup of butter. Let's cream that together. <laughs> a half cup of sugar and a half cup of brown sugar. Half cup sugar. Now I want to pack my brown sugar. That's perfect. Now let's cream that up. Alright, I need one egg. teaspoon, three quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure you freshen up your soda and powder every once in a while because it does run out of juice after a while. So I just put some new ones on here. We need a cup and a half of flour. So, be sure and scoop it out, not with your measuring cup, with a scoop. That's a cup. And I need up. Very good. Now, that's everything. All right. Now, what you need is a small scoop. My scoop, I think, is too big. I need a small cookie scoop. As a matter of fact, I've ordered one, but it's not here yet. All right. So what I'm gonna do is just not fill it up. I think I'm going to go ahead and fill it up, kind of, on the light side. Now, you're going to roll it in some granulated sugar. All right. This takes just a little while. Roll it on all sides in the sugar. Okay, so I have all of my cookies rolled into a bowl and dipped into my granulated sugar. I have an oven that's been preheated to 375 degrees and I'm gonna put them in on the middle shelf. Now I'm gonna bake for All 
Okay, so I have my timer set for 10 minutes. Because my cookies are kind of large, I made 24, the recipe calls for 36, I believe. So mine are a little bit larger than the recipe calls for. But I think that's okay. So the dough, let's taste the dough. I'm sure it's good. It's delicious. Some people eat raw oysters. As I eat raw eggs, doesn't, hasn't ever hurt me any. All right. That's good. So I'll come back and we'll take care of these cookies. Okay, so I cooked these for 12 minutes and I've just taken them out of the oven and I'm going to press my Hershey's Kiss. Hershey's Kiss, it's a mouthful, into each cookie. So those are very beautiful peanut butter cookies for Christmas. It's the only time I make them. It's for my family at the Christmas holidays. Next thing I'm gonna make is my Louisiana pralines. Pralines, I don't know how you say it. I believe we say pralines. These are perfect. Perfect. Now, I'm going to start taking them off. And you don't want to stack them. All right, that's perfect. I'm going to get a rack. get a rack and I'll stack them up and I hope y'all have a really Merry Christmas.